So I just wanted to talk about networking, and now the word networking might uh, make your skin crawl. <coughs> it might bring you out in, in a rash. Um, but it's an interesting part of running a business. I think um, it's something, I mean, I've been doing this for, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15 years. Um, I am quite an introvert at times. Um, if I'm in an environment that I know and I love and I'm comfortable, I can be extroverted as you like. It doesn't bother me. But put me in a space where I don't know anyone, you know, I've never been there before. Um, it, it scares the living daylight out of me. Um, but as, as a small company, um, in growing that small company, you need to get your name out there. So, <laughs> how did I get myself through that? I think... Um, I can't remember the first net. I can remember a couple of the, f the first networking events I went to, and it, it was a case of I. There was a corridor. I remember one of them. It was awful. A corridor coming up to the room where I knew the event was, and it was literally me walking up to the door, going, "No, I can't do this." Walking back, uh, walking up to the door, going, "No, I can't do this." Walk back, and I think it took me three times to get into that room and think, "No, I can do this." And and probably that first one, I literally managed to talk to one person, and then I couldn't bear to move around the room, so I just talked to one person. Um, so there is that element is if you are more introverted um, my tip would be take someone with you take one of your mates take your partner take your husband take your wife whatever take someone with you that you can talk crap at even when you're you know you're not able to move around a room and talk to other people that's that's well worth uh, doing I've done it with my husband but I do have to give him strict instructions because he's an extrovert and he'll wander around and talk to any Tom Dick or Harry so um, I have to tell him that you're here for me you're here for my business um, so that's a, take a ta someone you can team up with, that, someone that you like, um, that you feel comfortable with. That's definitely a, a worthwhile tip. The other one, if I'm com being completely honest, I've been to some networking events and actually the fact that there's alcohol there is a blessed blessing in itself because a glass of wine and I'm happy. You know, I can, I have then the confidence, it sounds awful, doesn't it? I'm not an alcoholic. Um, but it, it gave me the confidence at that point to go, okay, I don't really I, I care so much. I can, I can go and talk. I can, I can be myself. Um, the other tip, though, I would say is if you're really organised, is to look at the list of people who are going or find out if you can, f you know, some people that you can, e ahead of schedule or ahead of the event, um, and do some research. Um, that's always a, a bonus. I very rarely get myself that organised that I can do that, but that's always a bonus, um, is to try and um, work out who's going to be there and see if you can, because then you have, you know, you have ammunition in your arsenal. You can go, oh, so you're... Tom and you run. Nah, nah, nah. That's my next tip. Um, but also, I think uh, as a woman networking, I once had a chap uh, give me a piece of advice at the, the networking group that I go to and, and now love and, and really enjoy. He said, as a woman, just go and talk to, find a group of blokes and go and talk to them. Blokes will open up, they'll, they'll allow you into the group, they'll talk to you much more apparently than women do. I have yet to experiment and try this. But he said it's definitely worthwhile doing um, because blokes are much more, I think as women, we're much more competitive. Um, we, we are judgmental, put my hands up. Um, you know, we're assessing people much, bo much more before we talk to them, which, you know, come, I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, but that's another the piece of advice. Another one would be just to find groups that actually are useful for you. You know, what do you want? Do you need to make connections with um, venues? Do you need to make connections with other people in your industry? Um, you know, do it that way um, and find out, so for instance you want to build a relationship with a hotel, find out what events they've got at their hotel or find out where they're going to be um, and then go and make a connection with them. Um, and it's, it's pretty much, I mean, because I've been in the same place in my workshops in the same place, I've been here now for probably 10 years, I don't know, yeah, 10 years. So people know me, you know, people know who I am, they know my business. Um, but it, it's been a long haul to get myself to that point. Um, and it's, it's dropping postcards, it's, you know, it's social media. I mean, that's the other aspect of it is social media. Every networking event I go to, I try and follow people that I've chatted to on Instagram. And then you can carry on talking to people. You know, Instagram is brilliant for that. And um, Twitter as well. And another networking tip, actually, is one thing I found on Twitter is to find um, like a business hour or women's hour or I do one for growing flowers, this British flower hour on a Monday evening. And that's been great. 
um, because off the back of that one, I, I built relationships with two or three growers and then went to a networking event um, just before Christmas. And it was brilliant because I recognised them from the faces on their pictures on Twitter. Um, so I was able to walk up to them and say, you're, oh, you're such and such. And that helped me um, feeling, you know, in my introvertedness, that really helped me. So there's some, there's some tips um, just to, to think about. Um, but it, it will be, if you're, if you're not used to doing it, it is a hurdle to get over, but it is so worthwhile building a network of useful people that can then shout about you. You know, they can talk about what you do and you can talk about what they do. I mean, I sit in meetings with couples now and they'll say to me, oh, we haven't got a photographer, can you recommend anyone? And so you can list off, you know, there's, there's <laughs> you can list off people that you like, that you've worked with. Um, they want a cake maker. Um, I mean, uh, there's a brilliant cake maker, one of my favourites in Bath, and she recommends me all the time. It's lovely. Um, so that network for me is really useful. And I met her going to set up weddings when we got chatting. Um, we've known each other, I don't know, eight, nine years. Brilliant. I mean, I have a photographer that I work with. Um, he's fantastic. And, and we recommend each other. And it's lovely then when you turn up at a wedding, you go, oh, it's you. Um, it's, it's really nice. So networking is definitely the thing to do. I have a, there's a prop hire company here at, at Hartley and I've helped Jodie who runs it, I've, I've helped her a bit with network and we've gone to a couple of events and that's been fantastic tag teaming with her um, because she's not particularly, you know, she's a bit more introverted like me um, and it can be nerve wracking when you first go. Um, so yeah, there's some helpful tips. Uh, just to think about, but definitely worth building a network of people who like you, who like your work, um, can recommend you, um, know about you and want to talk about you to, to other people. So if you've enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe.